Nice to see Very you. Very nice to see you, Mark. Got to be honest with you, I, I'm a frequent, I work in New York often. I can't cross the bridge without hearing the taxi theme in oh, my yeah, head always. and thinking of you. Yep, that was a, yeah, beautiful Bob James song. With the flute. You yep. kind of greet me as I come into the city. Really nice. And then my son sitting in the corner has a shrine of you in his room. He loves Always Sunny so yes, much. Absolutely, and I, and I thank him very much for his dedication. There are a lot of things to talk about. What does know? it mean to have a career that's spanned the gap, that so many different generations love you and it's now great. It's, it's a good thing. I mean, I feel like uh, this is like Dumbo is like our uh, right now. It's like uh, uh, I feel like for kids of all ages, uh, Matilda, a lot of young kids like very much. I get a lot of uh, uh, feedback from Hercules, which is also a Dumbo movie. Sure. Yeah, and... Um, so I, I like the fact that I have, uh, you know, youngsters and also old, old timers like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Honored to be Dan. in that club. Uh, you, know, be, you know, people have seen more of the roses and, you know, and Ruthless People and all those other ones and who knew Taxi when it was on. So it's kind of cool, you know, to have that range of. And to, now with Sonny, that Sonny's been on 13 years. And that's that's the thing with your your son, your kids, or you know they all dig it. And right. we're going to do a couple more seasons, so what, we're really happy about. What it. What do you think eight year old Danny DeVito would say if you said someday you're walking <laughs> out of Dumbo, you're seeing Dumbo, cer- certainly not in first release, but you're seeing the original yeah. Dumbo, and say a lightning bolt hits you, and you say someday I'm gonna you're going to be in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would have believed it at the time, you know, because uh, you know, like everybody, uh, uh, we all have our insecurities and. Uh, things to deal with. I don't think I ever thought myself to be on the big screen. Um, I always admired it. Always wanted to be like part of it in a, in a kind of a as an audience. I love going every week when the movie changed on a Wednesday and go see it on a you know Saturday and Sunday. Just have a great time in the movies. Always dug it. Like going into that place, letting the lights go down, and in you know pushing yourself, allowing yourself to go into somebody else's imagination. Like with Dumbo, we have a great story and all the things that, you know, we remember from the first movie. Plus, we give it to Tim Burton, who's, you know, a master and an artist, and it changes into something that's a 21st century marvel. It's brilliant. Good to see yeah, you. Thank you I'm very much. This is part of my... That's a wool just... tweed wool. It, I think it used to be auto upholstery up until like a week ago. Got it on Amazon. It's good. I only ask because I've bought clothes. <laughs> May I get a white shot over there, please? Thanks. Whenever never clothes that look that bespoke. Yeah, well, thanks for acknowledging. Yeah. I can't lie to you, Colin Farrell. It is off of Amazon. It's, it's like a $50 suit. No, it's not. It is. I believe you. Really? I'm it, taking your face value. No, this is true. That's it, my son. Am I lying? Hey, okay. man. All right. How are you? <laughs> that is off Amazon for 50 yes, bucks. Yes. You have to give me the... All right. Ting, that's amazing. All right. Hey, welcome Jeez. back to Transparency yeah. and Fashion. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Congrats on this. Thank you, man. You know, you just reminded me of something, though. One of the very first times I interviewed you, we were all kind of wild back in the day, and you were smoking in the interview, but held it low so that I had that was a nice me. shot. Yeah. But in just the for B- atmosphere. But, just for atmosphere. Bro, I was going to say, in the B shot, it did look like my pants were on fire. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Smoking. Did you get exactly. a few calls after that? Did you get a couple of dates? It may have worked out okay. Good right. man. Uh, this movie, remarkable. You have no other movie in your catalog that has this kind of heart. No, it's lovely. It's unabashedly hopeful and optimistic and I don't think shies away as well from the more dark aspects of the human condition. You know, greed, avarice, the ability to be kind of um, unapologetically cruel toward each other that we have as human beings. But essentially at its core, it's the story of an outsider. It's the story of a family coming together. And yeah, I loved it when I read it, man. And the idea that Tim was going to bring it to life was just a no brainer. Sure. When you started speaking, it shows greed and some of the very dark things that take place in the real world. Is there any other director that can show all of that in grand style and then shine the light on the heart? I don't know. I, certainly nobody, as far as I'm concerned, that does it better with a defter touch and, and with such kind of beauty of imagination, you know. I mean, he's been doing pencil sketches about this world for how long, I, I don't know. But when I had my first meeting with him, um, there was a little a little notebook beside the couch I was sitting on in his house in Malibu and there was a little pencil sketch of Dumbo on it that he was just messing around with. So he's just been so immersed in this world and, and in the thought of bringing it to life. It's 
it's gorgeous to be part of the canvas, truly. You know, when arriving on the set even and seeing the sets and, and all the circus performers that were around us every day, it was just a beautiful energy to be around. And it didn't have the weight of some of the dramas that I've really enjoyed doing, but that I've been a part of. You know, there wasn't the kind of same degree of consistent darkness of theme, of course. Sure. You know. uh, do you think being a father helps you play a better father? Uh, I, uh, it should help you play a better everything. I mean, being a parent should enrich your life and should ideally, I don't know if it works that way, but ideally should offer you a wisdom and a depth, perhaps, that can bleed into anything that you do in life. You know, sure. it's all part of one big melting pot, but I don't think you have to be a father to play a father and do an extraordinary job of it. I know plenty of single actors who play fathers, and I'm sure there are actors who have won awards playing fathers that have never had a child and never yeah, will a have a point. child. So I will you know. say, though, I love this character that you're playing. I think we could all l lean on his example of how to be calm in the face of a storm. Who, this fellow I play? Yeah. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, cool, man. I, I think the way you, you weather certain things and uh, you yeah, I mean, are going he comes through duress. In, he comes into his own. You know, at the start of the film, it's a very simple journey, Holtz. You know, at the start of the film, he's, he's adrift in his own life. He doesn't know how to relate to his children. He's lost his wife. He's a widower. He comes back, obviously. He's an amputee. And there's a lot going on. And throughout the process of the story and throughout having something outside of themselves, something beautiful and different and magical and... and as, as Dumbo, it brings the family together and it allows my character to find a kind of locate a, a strength or a decency within him that he kind of lost sight of, perhaps. So, yeah. Much of the film is practical. When you talk about yeah. the circus performances, that's all going around. You don't have to use your imagination. Mm. But with Dumbo and many of the scenes, it's added after the fact. Yeah. With that said, what's your favorite now that you've seen it? Um, what's my favorite? Your favorite moment in the movie? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. God, if I have one, I'm not great at favorite moments in the movie. Um, Maybe the moment that he flies for the first time, like actually soars, not just the, the flap of the wing and a little bit of elevation and down, but the moment that he soars for the first time in the tent, I thought was pretty magical. It was pretty magical. And they just did such incredible work on this little pachyderm. They really did amazing work on making him so empathetic and, you know, the moments of mischief and the moments of joy and the moments of fear and sadness and all these human emotions that we can kind of project onto the, onto the creature, I think. If the look for the elephant didn't work, if they didn't do a bang up job, we kind of would have been <laughs> right. in a bit of trouble, you know. So, yeah, I think the moment takes flight for the first time. You're fantastic. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Nice. See you Cheers. Cheers. All the best. Here you get out. Usually, I mean, as an actor, I don't watch. I don't like watching myself. So sure. It's a bit narcissistic. But I completely forgot about myself when I watched this movie. I thought it was so kind of magical and and kind of like <gasps> kind of a big blow. It was just beautiful, beautiful, very moving. Because, of course, Dumbo and, and much more of this movie comes to life after you've laid down what you do. Yeah. With that said, all of your stunts are practical. That's you way up in the air, right? Yes, unbelievably, it's me up there. Uh, I did most of my stunts, uh, which was kind of a, a big challenge for me because I'm terrified of heights. Right. So it required um, a couple of months of training with circus people, uh, and I managed to overcome my fear, which is, uh, which is quite amazing. What I love, when you're up there and we see Dumbo, Dumbo's reaction to what it's like to be at that height yes. is very realistic to no one that's ever been at that height. So the first time you trained and saw what you would be doing on the ropes. God. I mean, the, uh, you know, the circus people who, who trained with me were very kind, very patient, and they gave me confidence. So, you know, but they, you start, I started quite low, and then, you know, day after day, it was kind of getting higher and higher. <gasps> and it's like, you know, you have that feeling sometimes of getting dizzy and... It's like you, you feel like you want to pass out. And, and I found a trick. It's like you have to sing really loud or say silly things to kind of like forget that you're up there. Right. But it's, 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 a, it's a great thing. It was, it was um, a great achievement for me. I, I, I thought I would be afraid of heights for life. And sure. It's kind of amazing. It was a breakthrough. It was a breakthrough. Right. Yes. Back to the singing. What would you be singing at that? very loudly? The, oh, I can't remember anything in French. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That wouldn't help me at all. Yes. Uh, you know, my friends and I, we talk about if we could work with one filmmaker for the rest of our lives, who would that be? Tim Burton's definitely on that list. And you've had a chance to do this how many times now? Three times. It's working out. Yeah, yeah. And no, I'm very lucky. He's such a wonderful man as well. You know, first of all, a poet and a wonderful filmmaker, but there is, he's very human and very delicate and, yeah, and kind, you know, it's, it's, it's rare in this crazy business.
Right. Only a kind person could have made this movie because yes. even though there is action, even though there's intrigue and some perilous moments, it's a kind movie. It's a movie full of heart, you know, and, and Tim is the perfect director for this. It's funny, it's spectacular, it's, um, it's good for the heart, yeah. Dumbo was my first ride at Disneyland, so come on, it's near and dear to me. <laughs> what was your first ride at Disneyland? Disneyland. But you know, I was terrified of heights. I, did, I didn't... <laughs> I was always doing things that were very, like, very safe. So now it's ironic. I'm up there. Right. Yeah. Now you need to go revisit. Maybe yes, do some maybe of the now that you've had this breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. What I love about you, you're one of the most attractive people on the planet. Yet I read an interview with you recently. I don't know when you did this, but you described yourself as a nerd. You consider yourself a nerd? A nerd. Very shy. Like, for me, it's almost like a handicap. You know, like, do, I mean, I have to do this press, which is, it's an, it's, it's an exercise, and I got better at it through the years, but it's, um, yeah, it's like, it's, I mean, it's a bit like, you know, yeah, I, I try to tame my demons and kind of embrace my shyness and go, okay, it's okay, I'm shy, this is who I am, I'm not gonna be loud and blah, you know, this is me, and that's it. I'm, <laughs> well, you're doing all right. Yes. That that tension and that, <gasps> that's exactly what I do every time when I'm about to walk in the room and talk to you. Oh, you're amazing. very kind. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank you. Hey, what'd you think? Be sure to hit like. You know you love it, so subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell. Yeah, Ooh. what she said. And, and watch some more videos right now. Mark, don't do that with your finger. Just stop it. That makes people uncomfortable. Mark. I like it though. There's none of that on our videos, don't worry. <laughs>